Americans. It's good. I like it both times. Once there was a Viking. He was tall. He was strong. He was blonde. He was handsome. He had on beautiful chain mail, a mighty double bitted axe, and he was sitting in the subway. <laughs> he was sitting in the subway because he was going to fighter practice. And because, yes, he was a polite Viking, he had his cloak draped over his mighty live steel double bitted axe. He was the only man in the car. Gee, shocked? He was polite! <laughs> Another man came into the car and they did what men do in subway cars. <laughs> Until the next stop started to come up, the other guy got up, pulled out a knife, <laughs> walked up to our hero, the Viking, and said, give me your money. Really? Our Viking hero said, what? <laughs> I got a knife. Give me your money. <laughs> he threw the cloak off. Grabbed the double bitted axe and stood up. And up. And up. And yelled at the top of his mighty voice Blood for Odin! The thief said, and I quote, subway train had stopped. <laughs> but wait! There's more! It seems, you see, the uh, would-be thief had special magic blinky green shoes on. Very unusual. And a week later, our hero, the Viking, not wearing chainmail, not carrying his double bitted axe in a restaurant, saw someone walk by with strange and unusual blinking green shoes. <laughs> he was headed for the men's room. <laughs> Our hero got up and followed. Now, ladies. You have probably never used a urinal. It's a guess. I haven't. There are rules. First, you don't stand next in the next urinal occupied. That sentence really hurt. If there is a urinal occupied, you leave a buffer urinal. I'm told it's the splash zone. I'm told it's because of guy things. I'm told you might get a sight of something you don't want to see. I don't know. Yes, and four. I've also been told if there's no buffer urinal available, you tie a knot in it. <laughs> Why you can't just use the toilet is beyond me. But they're men. Yeah. <laughs> so, the man with the magical blinking green shoes was standing at a urinal doing what men do at urinals. <laughs> Our hero, the Viking, strode forward and took the urinal next to it and started doing what men do at urinals. <laughs> now, as I said, our Viking was tall and our thief was short. So, when our Viking started leaning over the thief. He couldn't stop what he was doing. <laughs> Finally, the Viking turned and whispered in the thief's delicate little shell 
here. Blood for Odin! <laughs> the thief did not stop what he was doing, but he ran out the back. something along the lines of Let's go. One, two, three. Blood!